So today we have Parfums de Marley's Houtain or Houtan. I'm not sure exactly how to say it. But I got this sample in the mail. Um, I believe it was a free sample sent by Perfumes to Marley. This was a Herald's exclusive for a while. About probably a year I've seen it on sale there. But now it's in every store that carries them. Nordstrom's, um, Neiman Marcus, Saks. Those are the three main ones. It's readily available. But when I first got this and sprayed it on... Um, I thought it was okay. Um, I don't know. It's, it has amber woody base and it has that heavy ethyl maltol. So it's, it's not for me, but I would say if you like Baccarat Rouge 540, um, Ariana Grande's Cloud, but say you want something more masculine, but that's similar then I would say this is a winner, you know. If you if you think Baccarat Rouge 540 is good, but you're a guy and you wish it was more masculine, then I would say this is probably the best way to go if you want something similar to that. Um, I personally don't like that DNA that that much. I think it's I think Baccarat Rouge 540 is one of uh, Kirk John's worst fragrances. I mean, it's not bad, and I understand when it came out, it was unique and something different. Um, maybe it's just because I've smelled so much stuff that smells like that now that I just don't like it. I just think it's too sweet, you know. I don't mind the band aid smell or hospital and all that, but uh, yeah, it's just too sweet. The, the back of Rouge 540 X straight, I I like in really cold weather, like if it's under 50 degrees, then that embrocks in it, it actually really shines and it freshens it up and counterbalances the sweetness in it. Um, so yeah, this one doesn't have as much embroxin in it. I would say this one has, um, how would I explain it? It's, let me smell it. It opens up, it has that lavender clary sage opening. Um, you know how most designers have lavender, clary sage, geranium. That's a popular combo. This one's missing that geranium, which is a good thing. I feel like it would smell way too designery if it had that. But that, that quickly dissipates and you're, li you're le left with a, yeah, basically ethyl maltol. It kind of smells like if Baccarat Rouge 540 was an oudy flanker of it or something like that. I don't get strong oud in here. There's there's definitely not real oud. If, if there is oud, it's synthetic. Um, there's not much of it in there, but it has kind of like a oud DNA. But like lightened down and most... Like 80% Baccarat Rouge 540, 20% an Oud fragrance. Um, I think Cedar's listed in the notes. Maybe a little bit of Cedar, I don't know. It doesn't really stand out to me as Cedar. It's just a lot of Amberwood, Ethyl Maltol, Geranium, Clary Sage. They say they list a Praline note. I don't know what that is. Probably just some sweetener. Um... Yeah, it's not bad. I wouldn't I wouldn't pay four hundred dollars for this though. And they only have a hundred and twenty five ML of this. That's a huge bottle if you're a collector, so I'd probably if you want to try this, I would get a sample at most ten ML. I mean unless you really like the back rack Rouge five forty smell, then then maybe get the big bottle of this, but definitely sample for first, of course. Um but yeah, I just, uh, I heard it smells like Oud for Greatness. I don't think so. Oud for Greatness is harsher. This is more calm, more sensual. I think Oud for Greatness is uh, is not good either. I don't know. Maybe I need to smell it more, but I just do not like that one either. Um, Overhyped, I feel like. But yeah, I would say this is just, this is nothing new. And 
kind of a letdown. You know, I, I like some of the perfumes in Marley, but this one just feels like a clone. You know, a lot of them do feel like clones, but usually they do it much, much better. I wouldn't necessarily say that this one does it better, honestly. Um, it's overpriced. They don't have an option for a smaller bottle. It's, I mean, it's, maybe it's a good intro to, like, niche or something. Um, it just dries down to sweetness. I had my girlfriend smell this when I first put it on, and she told me it smells like a hospital, and sure enough, I looked it up, and, um, it's like Baccarat Rouge, which is like hospital smell. So it's definitely there. And she didn't know um, the name or anything like that, uh, what I was wearing. It was a blind smell. I got that hospital smell too. So yeah, it has a hospital-y, Band-Aid, Ethel Malto. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine this one's going to sell that much because... I mean, maybe they're trying to get some of the MFK fans over to Perfumes the Marley because it does so well. They want their own iteration of that scent DNA. Maybe that's the plan. But I just think it would be so redundant. Like, people wouldn't want to wear this. And they try to be unique by adding oud in it. But I feel like if anybody's going to get an oud scent, they would, you know, want the oud more prominent. It's barely detectable in this scent um yeah i mean i'm bashing it kind of because it's you know i'm just sick of ethel malto and amber woods but you know it's it's not a bad scent i would at least smell it but it's 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 not a winner you know there's other perfumes the marley's several that i like more than this one for sure Anyway, if if anybody smelled this perfumes and Marley's Haltain or Halton, let me know what you think about it.